Okay guys, so it's me Gaba this site. So today as you can see, I'm at Savor It featuring them today. So today I'm standing with the head chef of Savor It Davao. So today I'm at their Kapanchian, Kabantian uh, branch. So today she's going to make a Korean version of the sushi, also known as Kimbap. So let's see and let's talk with the chef that how she makes it. So you can start now. Yeah, we're just making uh, a traditional Kimbap. Going to drizzle the rice with salt but we did it later um, earlier earlier just, earlier just going to spread the rice on the nori sheet so these are some special type of rice or some like sushi rice or something um it's actually the rice that we have at home ah, okay so it's a little touch of home so these are being dressed with the salt and the sesame oil yes correct just spread the rice. Make sure that it's not full enough. So guys, just to let you know that, that it's called the nori sheet. It's like a seaweed. And uh, for those of you who like to love, like try sushi or like to try some new things. So maybe they can try the kimbap. Kim, kimbap, am yes, I correct? Kimbap. So that's a Filipino version of um, it's the I Korean. Yeah. Korean it's a version. Korean version of the sushi. sushi. Okay, so Filipino. so this the first layering of the rice is done. So now yes. what is this one for? This one is carrots. These, these are the carrots. Yeah. Okay. You can either um, use fresh carrots. We use fresh because it tastes better. Okay. And these are? This is the cucumber. Ah, okay. Cucumber. Without the seeds. Without the seeds. Carrot. Ah, okay. Yeah, and then you can put What's this one? This is a pickled radish. Ah, I'm seeing that for the first time. Okay. It tastes a little sweet. Okay, so yeah. can we focus on me now and let's, uh, if you don't mind, I would like to try yeah. a piece of this pickled okay. radish. Sure. So this is the first time of me trying the pickled radish. It, fa it tastes a bit like vinegar. You can't actually understand that it's, it's radish. It feels like it's it's having the texture of a carrot, no texture of a radish, no bitterness of a radish, no spiciness of a radish, but it's nice. So before we miss a lot, let's see what the chef is doing here. So she already put a omelette and then she put some pork. So the pork which you put on that is it's having some spices in it already. Yes, we already um, cook it before we start the day ah, okay so now she's putting her in-house kimchi which i got to know that they make by themselves so this kimchi which you make by yourself po it's made up of what all things like there are different types of kimchi yes i have tried a lot of kimchis in the city so this is made up of like what are the, what are the main ingredients if you'd like to tell us sure. uh, the main ingredients are chinese cabbage cabbage yes um carrots radish okay so this is basically a vegetarian kimchi or does um, it have some meat also inside it doesn't have any meat so. ah, okay so it's for vegan people also yes. so guys if you can't uh, try this uh, kimbap with the pork maybe you can order the kimchi from them directly i think they sell the kimchi also as they told me earlier yes so for those of you who are thinking that how to order it you can order it on food panda as well as grab and uh, as i've talked with the owner earlier that you can even uh, come here and do the takeout yourself yes. so i think that's more cheap and that's more convenient so now she's going to cut the whole roll of the kimbap let's see how it comes out can i touch it pa yeah sure so guys see this this is the beauty the proper sushi type Roll. I will say it's sushi. It's not. I will not say it's kimbap. It it feels like it's sushi because I've eaten so much sushi. It feels like sushi. So I will keep it back, guys. Don't worry. I'm going to eat that one. So it's not going to anyone else. So now the chef is going to cut and uh, pour with this. I think it's done now. Yes. 
Yes. So with this, do we do some dippings also? Yes. So what all dippings do you serve with them? Um, it's basically um, a soy sauce with something, some secret sauce. ingredients. Ah, okay. So guys, now we are going to do the cooking video or the food review first video of the kimchi fried kimchi noodles. So the chef is now going to prepare the kimchi noodles. So let's see what he puts in the pan now. Garlic. So these are a bit minced garlic. Yeah. Garlic and onion. So guys, for the Indians who are watching this, what we call it as a tadka. He's putting a tadka right now in the noodles. He's preparing the tadka. Okay, so the then, I'm gonna add kimchi. then he's going to add kimchi. A handful of kimchi, I feel. Now you can see the sizzle. Just be aware of the drops that come out of the pan. It's going to be really hot. So after putting the kimchi, now we're going to put some ground pork, which is already being cooked, marinated. So guys, these are all behind the scene uh, things for you so that you can actually see how they prepare it. You can actually see what's the quality and the things going inside it. So now he's going to put the handmade noodles, which are made from all purpose flour. These are the egg noodles, which he made himself. And these are not like any kind of pan set, which you eat from outside. These are the real effort handmade noodles. So, this is the basic version. Now he's going to put some uh, soy sauce. Soy sauce with oyster sauce. Okay, so it's having the mixture of soy sauce and the oyster sauce. So guys, if you want it to be spicy, you can like tell them beforehand so that they can make it spicy. So he's going to add kimchi juice. Kimchi juice. So guys, I've already tried the kimchi and... So just to let you know that I like to eat fresh kimchi, not the fermented one, you may try this. Okay, so now the chef is going to add maybe some special ingredient. I wish I could make you guys smell the aroma which is coming from the pan right now okay so guys it's done so now we are going to do the plating of the thing so before we do the plating he's going to put some sesame oil on it to enhance the flavor so let's proceed with the plating so can we do the plating now so guys, as you know, it's a home-based Filipino restaurant type thing, which they deliver the food. And as you can see that they're doing the plating of the noodles now. Oh, it smells awesome. From that sesame oil, that nuttiness comes into the air. And I feel, I hope that it's going to be a bit spicy for the Indians who are watching it. But mm, let's, let's try. So now he's going to do the dressing of it with some sesame seeds. So please don't mind the dogs barking at the background. They are their personal pet dogs. So what's that uh, if we may? Ah, These are the thin stripes of the shredded seaweed. So now this is done. Okay. So guys, now we are going to feature the next product of the Savor It. That's the kimchi fried rice with a twist. So uh, keep watching and you will know the what's the twist and it's my first time featuring that twist in this channel. So let's start the process. He's going to now saute some garlic again in some oil and some onions. So as Filipino call it Bombay and they call Indians also Bombay. Just kidding. They don't fry us here. 
at least till now so after the onions and the garlic is caramelized he's going to add ground pork and the pork is already being cooked once and with is marinated so now he's going to add some handful of kimchi it's a in house kimchi guys it's fresh kimchi it's not fermented one so now he's going to saute the kimchi also along with the onions garlics and the pork now he's going to add one serving of rice there's a lot of rice so as you can see that for the quantity the quantity is good enough for one person maybe you can even share it with another person if you want but if you eat it alone don't feel guilty it's going to be that delicious that you can't stop yourself from eating the whole one serving so now he's going to add soy sauce for the saltiness and now is the time to add the very elegant looking bottle of oyster sauce so as you can see that the rice is almost cooked but just wait guys just wait for the twist which the owners promised us to show which i am also excited about so now we're going to add some sesame oil for the dressing and then we are now going to proceed for the plating i guess and then just wait i'm um, i promise you the twist in the beginning i will show you the twist now this is not the twist just to let you know the twist will come soon Oh man the aroma is so charming I know I should not eat the rice from the pan itself but if I could I would eat it I'm telling you So now he's going to put the the egg which he has fried just before off screen so now he's going to put some cheese on top So as the cheese comes okay so here is the cheese so i feel he's going to put a handful of what type of cheese it is for mozzarella it's cheese. mozzarella cheese strands so so now we'll transfer from this platform to the pl other platform so that we can show you the twist this is not the twist i'm telling you again you can see the smoke coming up I don't know if you can see it in the camera or not but it, there is smoke coming up from the cheese but let's proceed with the torching so can we shift now for the torching okay guys so as you can see that this is the first time of me featuring the torching so as you can see the cheese is going to start melting Oh that's a scene you want to see with your enemies being them at the place of the cheese and then eating them if i would be the chef i'd be putting some pizza sauce or something it will feel amazing because the torching make everything feels delicious oh now the smell of the the sauce is again coming up because of the tor torching as you can see it's already started to being crystified it's becoming brown that pure brown beauty oh it's sizzling so again guys if you want to order the spicy version you can let them know beforehand and they will make it more spicy for you oh i hope no one touches the plate in which it is being torched just right away 
because it's going to be damn hot this makes me remember about the korean food vlogs because in that they love the cheese or everything and then they torch it oh wow i hope my camera doesn't melt off from the heat of the torch this looks irresistible so the torching is going amazing it looks like a cake from the top right now i will ask the cameraman to focus a little bit on the browning oh wow it looks amazing you can see the cheese boiling on the top wow so the torching is done so guys now we'll proceed with the food tasting video so as you can see that we have other things also ready so this one is the kimchi noodles and uh, this one is which we saw just now is the kimchi fried rice with the twist at the twist you saw is a cheese with the torching this one is their kimbap which is vegetarian version especially for the indians and those who don't want to like don't want to eat meat so they can order the special version and this one is the normal kimbap which is having the pork as a filling so i'm going to do the tasting video of the four items now and we might also include some dessert so just stay connected guys and let's see you in the ahead of the video okay guys so now going to start the process of the making of the spicy chicken of theirs so as you can see the chicken is already being marinated in the secret marination sauce and now he's going to do the coating of the chicken so chef can you please let us let us know that what are the things which are going to do it with the coating uh, uh, this is a uh, flour mixed with salt and uh, garlic powder okay and this is a uh, black pepper uh, oregano cayenne pepper and paprika okay so guys it has a lot of spices which will make it enhance its flavor and uh, as the chefs told me earlier and the owners told me earlier that they have three levels of spicy chicken and right now since you know i'm a spicy eater so they're making the level three the spiciest of theirs so now they're going to do the coating of the chicken so oh man that's a nice thick leg of a chicken am i correct is it a leg yeah i'm bad with the chicken anatomy but i'm good with human anatomy so don't judge me with that it's better to confirm things and to say wrong things on the video so it's a very light dressing as you can see guys it's not a very thick dressing and so that you can really enjoy the the taste of the chicken it's not like the big chicken giants in the whole world who put very thick dressing on the chicken and then you can't feel the chicken meatiness so now the dressing is done so let's proceed with the frying process so they have already uh, hot the boil the oil so now the chicken is going to go inside so can you please focus on that and can we show the viewers how it feels oh man that golden charm of the chicken skin of the chicken coating so i will just tell you one tip which i have learned while cooking and while doing food vlogging that when the chicken will float up in the oil that means that the chicken is cooked so as you have as you can see that it's starting to come up itself so that means it's getting ready it's getting ready for the mouth for the wedding of the mouth and the tongue with the chicken so i think it how much time does it take for for the chicken to be fried uh, usually it takes 8 to 10 minutes okay so that's a long time period guys so let's do a time lapse we'll stop the video here and then we'll continue when the chicken is fried and it's about to come out so guys now the wait is over so now chef will take out the chicken and i hope it's in one piece oh man it's still not out and i can feel oh this is like a big 
fat chicken. Oh man. That's California pepper. Oh. That's going to be spicy. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. That's too much of for any Filipino or most of the Indians also. So, I think it's done now. So, we'll just uh, take the pictures of it and then we will do the final food log, food review video for the chicken and everything else. Oh.